Hi, in this video I'll show you how to add an intro and or outro video in bulk to all the videos in a folder using the free software FFmpeg and using just three simple commands. So you should have FFmpeg installed already. If you don't, then come and have a look in YouTube, search for FFmpeg install. There's loads of videos there showing you how to do it. Actually, the one at the top of the list here is a really good tutorial. Now, I will tell you one thing about your install. Make sure that you do have your FFmpeg commands added to your path. To do that, come down to your run box and type in path and then click on environment variables and then on path here at the bottom, double click on that and just make sure you've added the path to the folder where you've got FFmpeg installed. By doing that, you'll be able to run the FFmpeg commands from any folder. Okay, so we have got that done. Next up, let's look at the videos that I'm going to be adding an intro and an outro to. So I've got them here in my Y folder and I've already made an intro and an outro video as well and I've put them in a different folder called X. Now for this to work, the videos that you're adding to your existing videos have to have the same characteristics. So they have to be the same resolution, they have to have the same frame rate, etc. So if you are going to be recording a new intro and outro, just make sure that you use the same software that you made the original videos in and with the same settings. If they are a different setting, you can still fix that by re-encoding. I'll tell you how to do that in a second. Okay, so let's up just first check that I do have the same settings on these videos. So I'm going to go to view and details and I'm going to right click along the top bar here and I'm going to click on more and I'm going to scroll down to the letter F and I'm going to add frame height, the frame rate and the frame width. And I'll just move my frame rate over here and I can see that these videos are all 30 frames per second and they are 1080p. And if I look in my other folder where I've got my intro and my outro, I'll do the same again there. I'll go to details, right click up here, more, scroll down to F and I'm going to add the frame height, the frame rate and the frame width. And I can see there that all looks good that the frame rate and the resolution is the same as the videos I'm going to be adding these videos to. Okay. So next thing, what I need to do is all my videos are MP4s and FFmpeg does not like adding additional videos to MP4s. So the first thing that I need to do is convert these videos to the TS format. So to do that, I'm going to come down to my run box again and I'm going to type in PowerShell here to open up PowerShell and then I am going to change to this directory here. So I'll just right click on the directory, copy the address as text to save me typing it in. And then in PowerShell, I'll enter CD for change directory and right click to paste in the path. And I've now changed to that folder. And then I'm going to run my FFmpeg command. So I'm just going to look in my other monitor here. I'm going to copy it from here and I'm going to paste it in. So what I'm doing there, this first part of the command, it's looking for all files that end in .mp4, and then it says for each, so it's going to loop through all of the files, and then what it's going to do is, using ffmpeg, it's going to convert that to a .ts file. And because I'm using dash c copy, that means that I'm going to copy all the attributes of the original file, so the same codec. So because I'm not changing anything, this is going to be lossless. So you're going to maintain the video quality and it's also going to be super fast because I'm not doing any re-encoding here. Now, if the videos that you wanted to add to the originals were a different codec, different resolution, etc., then you could use a similar command here to re-encode them all to the new format. 
So rather than FFmpeg and where here I'm converting them to TS, you would re-encode them to whatever you needed to do there. I'm not going to go into it here because there's loads of other documentation there, but what this does show you is how to do it in a single command to all of the videos in the one folder. Okay, so I can now hit enter and I'm going to just scroll back here and check I didn't get any error messages. That all looks good. And if I look back in my folder now, you can see that it has created the TS files. Okay, so I've done it for the original videos that I want to add my intro and outro to. I also need to do it to my intro and outro videos as well. So I'm going to copy the path again. And then in here, I'm going to change directory to that path. And I'm going to hit my up arrow twice to run the same command again. And I'm now creating TSs of my intro and my outro folder. And again, just check that I've got no errors. Okay, so I've created my intermediate TS files. And what I can now do is concatenate them together. So I'm going to go back to the folder that I want to run this on with my original videos. I'm going to copy the path there again, and I'm going to change directory back to that directory and then i'm going to run my second command so again i'm just copying it from my other monitor here and i'll right click to paste it in and what i'm doing now is i'm looking for all files that end in .ts and then for each of them so again it's going to loop through it's going to run this command on every ts file and then let me just expand this so you can see it better and then what it's doing is concat, it's going to concatenate the files together. And the first one, it's looking for the intro. Actually, let me just fix this because it's actually in my D drive, not in my C drive. So I will fix that command. Okay, so first up, the first video it's going to take is dxintro.ts. That's my intro file. Then I've got a dollar underscore. That means take each file in this folder, put that in the middle. So it's going to, whatever is the first video, so it will do it. Let me just uh, sort these by type. So the first video here, what it's going to do is it's going to take the intro and then it's going to take the first file and then it's going to put the outro and it's going to make one video of that. Okay, so I've got my intro, then the file here, and then the outro. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to append underscore tag to that because I've already got files with that name .ts. So I need to use a different file name so it's not going to prompt me every time if I want to overwrite the original. Okay, and it's going to loop through each of these because I've got four each there. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to put my intro and my outro on my first video. And then I'm going to put my intro and my outro on the second video. And then I'll put my intro and my outro on the third video. And I'm going to end up with three new files which have got those three videos on there. Okay. All right. So let me hit enter here to run that command. Okay, now you can see that I am getting some error messages on there. Red is an error, a yellow is a warning. And I tried to fix this before, but couldn't fix it. But actually, it still worked just fine anyway. So after you've run this, if you do get any warnings or errors, just have a look at the videos after you've done it and check that you don't have any problems in there. I'm getting this warning message because the timestamps are out because there's free videos there. Still works just fine, so I'm not really going to worry about it too much. Okay, so now looking back in my folder again, I can see I've got the three new files that all end in tag. And these are my completed videos. But they're .ts. I want to convert these back to MP4 again as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this tag. And I'm going to move those three files in there. Because another thing I want to do is I want to strip off tag from the end of the name. Maybe you do this for 100 videos. You don't want to do that one at a time. 
So what to do is use this utility called the bulk rename utility. So just Google for bulk rename utility and this first hit here, bulk rename utility.co.uk, you can download it from there. I've already got it installed. So I'm going to run it by searching for rename. And then I'm going to copy my folder path again. And I'm going to paste that in here. And now I need to click on the three files, select them all. Okay, if you make a mistake, it will be because you forget to select them. So select them. And then I'm going to remove the last one, two, three, four to remove the tag underscore and click on rename and OK and OK again. And now I can go back to my folder and I can see I've got the original file names again now just with .ts on the end. OK, last thing that I need to do is convert these back to MP4s again. So I'm going to copy the path here, go back to PowerShell and then change directory to that folder and then I'm going to copy my third command here from the other window and paste that in and what this is doing is it's just going the other way from ts to mp4 and for each file in that folder I'll hit enter I'm getting the same warnings again but it should be fine and if I now look in that folder and I'll change this to details and the type I can see I have now got my three files, which are MP4s, which have got the intro and the outro on them. Now what to do is just run that file and what and check at the joins between the videos to make sure that there's no glitches there. Also check within each of the three parts of the video as well. Just check that the speed all looks okay because I've seen a problem with that before. Okay, that was the whole thing. That was how to do it. I'll put the commands in the description to save you squinting at the screen. Okay, so I hope you got a lot of help from the video. If so, give me a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you.